For those of you who don't know me, my name is Isabel and I'm a makeup artist. Um, and today I'm going to be teaching you this cute soft glam. Super easy, super quick. So first things first, you just want to prime your skin. So I've already done my usual skincare routine, which is sort of cleansing the face and everything. Um, but what, I'm, what I do use a lot of is priming oils. So this one is a Revolution Pro. If you've ever had your makeup done by me, you will know. So what I just do is use the pipette. Trickle it a little bit down my face. This is just because I use this on pretty much everybody, even if someone's got oily skin. Just because it really, really primes the skin. And I usually find, even if someone's got oily skin, the foundation can, even though it can slip off on like the T-zone area, um, I do find that they do have like dry patches as well. So like under their eyes um, and like cheeks and things, especially like when it's winter everyone needs a bit more moisture in the skin don't they so that is my go-to oil and let that really soak into your skin a little bit before you move on to the next stages now for brow products to keep the texture and sort of achieve more of a not a laminated effect because i don't like it when you've proper like really sticks down on my forehead and i can't put a gel on top or anything but um i usually use these these are the pink honey um and these I do have two, so I have the Strawberry Texture Hold and the Raspberry Flex Hold. I do have this one from, it's just a brow soap from Eyelash Cosmetics. And I think it was about £6 and I do have a discount code which I'll link below. But it's so cute, it's literally like, look how small that is compared to my hand. It's so cute and it just has a little slidey lid. Um, and it does come with a spoolie as well, but I've worn mine to the ground. But yeah, it's so cute and it's literally just a clear soap. I love it. I'm going to start brushing that through the brows and because I don't want it to fully stick to my head I'm not going to start proper pressing it down. I am just going to keep brushing it through and I am using a little bit of pressure just to sort of you know manipulate the hairs a little bit so you can see the difference between brows. And if you find that some soap just isn't coming off, just twist it, like swivel the um, spoolie in your brow like this and it'll get some of that soap into the brow. And another way as well, you can do brush it back on itself so it looks a bit crazy like this. And then it'll stick, into sh stick more in the shape that you want rather than keeping going up with it that is brows for now we'll finish them off when we come to it at the end so once that's done the oil should be i'm just gonna take a fluffy brush this is a peggy sage 1351 i can't see the other number 1351503 i'll try and find it and link it below if i can um if not um there'll be one similar you can get um so many from like zoeva molly o'brien and things it's just a fluffy brush really fluffy not too dense just really 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 fluffy just want a really fluffy bending uh, bending brush a blending brush in super stay 24 hour full coverage foundation in shade in the shade true ivory 03 so what i'm gonna do is start just applying with my fluffy brush under my eyes just put it in place a little bit on my eyelids we just sort of want to get that coverage on as eyelids and under our eyes while i'm doing you might have seen me sort of scrape it off but i have like a towel or I always have like bedroll or something clean obviously so this it's always like a fresh towel but any excess on my brush because i don't want to start spreading concealer all over my face i just want concealer focusing the areas that i want at the minute so i know i'm blending it down but we really want the brightest bits to be sort of here so any excess i am literally just wiping it off on the towel when i get to the brow i'm just gonna lightly fluff it up i know people love a little bit of color corrector like greens and purples and things like that but for me my skin because i've got quite a lot of freckles you might not be able to see them but I have quite a lot of freckles and 
colour correcting with me it just makes me look grey so I try and stay away from it I just try and correct it with concealers and just make the best out of my situation everybody has bags everyone has wrinkles look at who you are you have at least one if you don't let me know your secrets because I'm not getting any younger also I keep coming up with these really weird accents like my boyfriend said to me yesterday your accent's weird and I don't understand I don't know what I'm doing so yeah blend that out with the cold fluffy brush again as you can see so now you might think i'm a bit more crazy but what i'm going to do is go in with the revolution fast base stick foundation in shade f13 what i do is just press it on the areas i want to contour don't know which brush to use so what I'm going to do is get a MAC 224 brush, fluffy brush, same as the other one. So you can see, I know this has got concealer on now, but when this one was fluffy, these ones are like identical, but this one's just a lot cheaper than the MAC one. Although the MAC one doesn't shed as much, but they're still amazing. So I'm just going to put a little bit there into my crease. So this is just a Real Techniques brush. I think it's a contour brush. There's literally no name on it. I've had it for years. So this is going to take a while. But the good thing about doing it this way is that you can blend it and buff it without it spreading your foundation. So basically then once you put your base on top, yes, it might disguise it, but it's going to bring it out again when you set it with the powders. So it is going a bit crazy right now. And with the nose you can see i'm kind of like moving it upwards into the brow not a lot but you can see i've moved it there just to give a really nice contour effect obviously i'm not going to keep my makeup like this i know i look ridiculous but trust the process bear with and trust me please because i need someone to just make sure all this is blended Give yourself a minute or two to adjust to looking at yourself like this because we do look horrific, we do look a bit like a clown, but we'll get there, I promise. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to the foundation. So I always use NARS. If you've had your makeup done by me, you'll know that I rely on this. But I also use these. Now the reason because is during this lockdown, I have started to run out of my own NARS. Uh, this is shade Duvo. Now, this, these look different colours, but they're actually the exact same colour. But honestly, these ones are amazing. Um, I also found another dupe, which is Punjab. And this is the same foundation in shade 128, and this is a warm nude. Perfect if you've got a tan. Honestly, my favourite. This is like my colour with a tan. Um, I usually mix the two together just because i'm not like i know i'm pale but once i've got like tan and things like that on i warm my face up a little bit more so i usually mix them all together but honestly shade Duval and in maybelline dream urban cover we've got not 40 not 95 not 45 0 95 fair parcelain honestly can't go wrong so for foundation i always apply to a palette and this is a pictures and cream pc04 brush amazing and i literally just dab it in the in the foundation and pat it on yeah i'm covering a lot of my bronzer up but i don't need to use as much foundation just gonna dab it in and the good thing about this is that you don't have to worry too much about it going too close to your eyeshadow because you haven't got none on yeah it looks like i've literally just ruined all the work that i've just done especially in that brow but we'll get there eventually i look like i've completely ruined everything we've just done but i haven't just keep trusting the process with another fluffy brush this one is peggy said so it is 135147 revolution banana powder tap it in so you've got some on your brush 
and tap it onto the eyelid. Morphe Filter Effect Finishing Powder in Filter 7. Zoeva 221 brush, just a really fluffy brush. Literally right on the edge of your brush, tap off any excess and just tap it onto the lid. And I'm just focusing on that outer edge. I don't want to bring it into this into the actual um eyelid. Then with our powder brush and our revolution powder again, sorry, this is the shade banana and it's a bacon blot powder. I will link our products below. Again, tiny bit of product and we're just setting NARS liquid bronzer in shade Laguna. So this comes like a foundation. Just gonna put a little bit on the palette. But I love this product and it's so nice just for a little glow. So like I said, tiny little bit where you want to contour. So I'm not going to put it on my jaw because I've already got quite a lot of contour there and we're just going to set that with powder. But I'm just going to really tap that into the my hairline because I have a really strange hairline. You can see. What is that? And then really tap it in to the contours of my cheeks. So with powder, the same as what we used on my eye, the Morphe. Pro Filter Effect Powder and a Peggy, Peggy, Peggy Sage Limited Edition brush. It doesn't have a number, but I will find it and try a link if it's still available. So just really, really get that powder in, really work that powder into the brush and then tap it over where we've just put the NARS bronzer. This is such a subtle but really 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 nice colour bronze using the same brush as what we did on the eyes the Zoeva brush and we're just gonna lightly come down the nose really light you don't want anything crazy because you don't want to overdo it which I have done numerous times there we go now what we're gonna do is take NYX NYX whatever it's called Born to Glow Concealer, but this shade in is Alabaster. So it's one of those where you squeeze it and it comes into like a little pad. That's why I'm only using my own. So what I want to do is I always just make a swipe there and drag that product out. And we want to take it to the side of the nose too. So swipe, drag, side of the nose. I'm going to take any product left on the pad put it in the forehead and drag that product down a little bit a little bit in the nose a little bit on the tip in the nose so i do look a bit like a scribbling board at the minute but that's fine so once it's been setting for a little bit we're just going to take a peach and cream pc pc 15 brush and we're just going to start tapping the product out so what we're going to do now is move on to Blush. So this is again my own and it's an LA Girl Velvet Blush Contour Stick and this is the shade Dreamy so it's a really nice pink colour. So all I'm doing is applying this to the apples of my cheek. The brush that I'm going to use is a number 7 brush, it's really old. I'm just going to tap that into the skin. I'm going to do some baking. For baking, I can either use the Fenty Butter Powder, Pro Filter Powder in Butter even, or the YSL Souffle de Eclat. I hope I've pronounced that right, in shade 02. So I'm going to use this one. So what I'm going to do with my Unicorn Cosmetics, I've already got a bit of powder on there, but um, it's just a beauty blender. It's, well, it's called a beauty egg, and this is amazing. So I've just dampened it a little bit, adding some powder on there gonna press that into the little triangle you can see it's at the side of my nose that's where we want it the most and then we want it a little bit under the eye if you want to sharpen up that contour you can 
you bring down only a small amount of powder because you don't want it too strong bring that down there you don't want to use too much um powder so i'm going to start lightly dusting under my eyes away after a couple minutes of my milani bronzer and we're just gonna refreshen refreshen what is that word freshen up the contour a little bit a morphe m405 brush and a blush so i'm gonna go in with life's a peach from l'oreal this actually smells like peaches it's amazing smile and just apply that blush and then if you want it a little bit brighter which i'm kind of feeling right now i'm gonna go with a beauty bit own brand um a powder blusher in shade coral i'm just gonna apply a tiny little bit of this because it just it is a bit more pigmented and it is a bit more pink so i'm just gonna put a little bit on the nose so what i'm gonna do now is going with a barry m Cold pencil in shade nude. All I'm gonna do is go in with my mascara, which is L'Oreal Terry's Telescopic Mascara. I'm just gonna lightly coat my lashes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go chuck on some lashes and I'll be back. So here are my lashes. Make a massive difference. I've not even got any eyeliner on with these. They're just perfect everyday lashes. Now these are the Tatty Lash and Molly May lashes and this is the style everyday They're called everyday lashes and they are my favorite lashes ever what we're gonna do now what we're gonna do now bottom lashes Here we go. Now we're gonna go on to brows and highlight. So I always like to look a little bit glowy. So what I always use is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. I have two shades, but I'm gonna use the shade Luminescence. But I'm just gonna place that on the top of my cheekbones. It just looks so natural from the front. You're all matte. Oh. Turn the head, oh girl, oh girl. Now what I'm gonna use is the Danessa Myrix, Myrix Duet Balm in Hot Water. So I'm literally gonna put my uh, ring finger in and just tap it over that highlight. Now brows, I'm gonna do a more in depth tutorial but I use the Be Perfect pencil in Indestructive Brow. Obviously, I've already got soap in my brows, so they should still be in place. If they're not, just literally brush them and they'll stay in place because you've not taken off the soap. Um, and then what I usually do is just go in and add tiny little hair strokes to my shape. Sometimes I do my full brow with this pencil. With this look, because I wanted more of a bushy, bushy brow, going to use my best product ever Illa Masca brow cake in shade thunder and this is the brush IL045 you can see it's like super sharp super angled so what I want to do is water powder spray looks really dark I know but then you want to take your brush Put it through the water, get it on all the sides, coat the brush, you're ready to use it, so. So this is ELF Cosmetics ELF, this is Wow Brow in shade Deep Brown. And I literally only take a small amount of this. 
it's such a cute little product so what i'm going to use for my lips is the morphe coffee and kissy lip liner i'm just going to start by underlining it uh, overlining underlining lining my lips remember you don't want to overline the edges of your lips So as you can see, I have overlined my lips. NYX lip lingerie, lip lingerie, 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 I think it is. So, like, I don't know how to pronounce things. It's really, really, really wrong. But it's, this is colour baby doll. It's like a really, 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 really nude lip. I'm just going to take a little bit of my finger and pat that into the middle. It is my favourite lip gloss ever. This is Beauty Bay own brand lip gloss in the shade Slippers. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to do, add that over. Focusing mainly on the middle of the lip careful not to take it too high so that it leaks and um bleeds onto the skin but well, i hope you learned a little bit i hope you even got some products out of it these are all like what i personally use so it's not just something to advertise or anything these are literally my perfect soft glam products um including the eyelashes everything is just what i love so comment like subscribe if you want to see any particular tutorials i have got quite a few lined up um but yeah thank you for watching if you watched the whole thing um and yeah i'll see you next time bye